Let me summarize this intro only slightly faster than the actual intro summarizes it. Uh, Renato was a pirate. His mom called him home. He went home. The Emperor was good. Then he wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> the kid! So the Who's the kid?! The kid! Promised his mother he protected. Who's the mother?! Which mother?! The hell is that? Exactly. His mother. His mother, man. Come on. Dude. Guess. Don't you know his mother? Alright, I guess we're going to the boss rule here. Didn't you understand who she was from fucking- There were two the, mothers! From the, fucking, look, it's Hyrule the fucking two seconds of character introduction you got? <laughs> well, that was quick. I feel like they were trying to expedite a game that had already happened. <laughs> it, it really does. Uh, its intro is like, alright, okay, fine. <laughs> what just the hell that. is happening? <laughs> You see, this is why I fucking hate video games, because it- this is what it does, it appeals to, like, the male fantasy? <laughs> of what? <laughs> Running in a circle and levitating? Hold up, I have a shadow in the shadow. shadows. I know, you broke your shadow, congratulations, Justin. I'm so sliding! It took sliding. all two minutes. <laughs> Welcome to the game, you're hunting the Sky River, you're being chased by crows, and you're part of the rebellion because a kid died. You- you were in love with his mother, but then she was burned alive, just like the librarians in that one library. Wait, he actually did die? Yeah! The kid? Yes! Did you not see the pile of ash with his helmet? No! <laughs> what the fuck? Yes! Sword? <laughs> oh yes, that's a thing in this. What? Sword foo? I was half guessing that that would happen. And you go to school for it too! Sword foo scar! This game is fucking great! <laughs> I gotta admit, it's got a weirdly large amount of personality. <laughs> she won't give them up easily. <laughs> She'll tell the interrogators, all right. Oh my fucking Said Lepino. God. Is it me or does he look like a dick? The game, all right. <laughs> Who? Lapino. The, the rabbit kind of yeah. He's kind of shaped penis. like a dick. Lapinus. <laughs> like if you cut off his ears, he would look like a dick. Oh, you're talking about an actual penis, not him yes. looking like an asshole. Okay. No, like, he looks that, like an actual penis. We were penis. talking about assholes, Justin, we were talking about penises. Yes, like, I, his head looks like a head, if you know what I'm saying. Let's take a look <laughs> at, let's look, take at, look face in him. At Rabbit, who face look. Like, next time you see him, just imagine him without the ears, and he's literally just a penis. His Imperial Majesty okay, you're dropping more shit on back. me. They could make him immortal. To seal the body. He needed a sacrifice. Four oh, words, God. Ronaldo. Roll a bluff him. check. You're lying. She was furious. You can't prove that. I can. And so they set sail. I land. can. I can. And so they went when they went somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Despite them still being enemies. Diplomacy. <laughs> Diplomacy is important. <laughs> hey, it's a kid's You can't prove that. Nat 20 bluff. I can. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> no. This is, why, this is this is why we min max charisma. <laughs> Tempo locate. I have a map. <laughs> it's the smug cat, except she's not the one with the knife pointed at her. <laughs> she's the one with the knife. Look. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the favorite of a god could become immortal. Yeah, that's that's she normally why people do shit. Well. Shivered. A what now? An eater of souls. Sorry, what? Well, I'm not of <laughs> I like how the story just throws things at you like, <laughs> fuck you, that's why. <laughs> like, I kind of like it, and I don't know why. <laughs> like, the moment you ask a question, it immediately gives you the answer, but it never makes any sense. It just raises more questions. <laughs> you were totally fine when he was like, I love Zenobia, and you're totally fine when the game is like, well, kill Zenobia. <laughs> because I don't have any time to invest in any of these characters! <laughs> you are correct. Lupino's the one who betrayed you, she shouted. He warned my father. Renato sank his sword yeah. to the witch before she could fool him again. Okay, I don't get a choice. I feel kind of alright with that. Oh, so wait, you just killed oh, Zenobia? No. Lupino's the traitor. Oh, no! Then he just murdered her. Yeah. <laughs> I would have appreciated a choice there, game. Okay, game? You are a penis, my man. <laughs> Fuck you, La Penis. Like, I actually would have appreciated a choice there. That was weird. He could have sworn he just died. Instead, he was on the far fair, sailing away from Ubar. And. It was still burning. All right. He'd fled burning Uba years ago, hadn't he? 
and now he was back there. Uh, I like this concept, but I wish they would explain it more. Like, the reason why it's happening? Yeah. A useful I figured it out almost true. immediately. He it was the book. Something. Uh, when he know, left the when he left the place, yeah. it mentioned that he it, it said something like there was something like oh I wonder what's in it or whatever and it, to imply that he opens it up. When he opened the book, it started this cycle. Uh, oh, good and point. And therefore the book. One of my endings. Yeah. I became. I was like. I was like, was guys, we shouldn't fight. And then I sit down and start meditating, and then the fucking crows murder me. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes! <laughs> and that was how it, it, it was like, and then everyone dropped their weapons and stopped fighting. Ha! I'm kidding, no they didn't. <laughs> That's what the narrator said. <laughs> and then they were like, the nearest crow stabbed him through the chest. <laughs> and that was how it ended. <laughs> that was great! It was a fantastic line. The Emperor is looking for the Iblis Stone. The Emperor wants power. The Iblis Stone grants power. The Emperor was only able to grant power by killing someone who loved him. The Iblis Stone is asking you to kill Zenobia. by the transcendent Emperor to power his greatest weapon. So... Kill someone who loves you for power. That's why he's looking for the Iblis Stone. And also that proves that Zenobia loves you. Which makes the- which makes the old- the whole stabbing her straight through the fucking chest in the previous ending all the more sad. <laughs> we jumped down a well. Why is it so... trees down here? <laughs> Why is it so trees down here? <laughs> Very good description. He felt a jolt of power flowing into his arm. Whispered the stone. The call. Huh? Well. Are you afraid of it? <laughs> it chuckled. But it's unstable. If a poison you might just carry it. And you're not? If you try to use it, it will explode catastrophically. Renardo did not trust rocks that talked in his head. He went onwards. Mm -hmm. Can I, like, kill a few of these guys? Yeah. No, Renato did not trust rocks that talked in his head. Yeah. That's fair. Seated the demonic gem with the power of his mind. Sorry, what? <laughs> he missed something. <laughs> we just came back to he defeated the demonic gem with the power of his mind. <laughs> uh knowing Renato? No he didn't. He never figured the library of Uba would have comic books or the high page she would know anything about them. Huh. Oh, so they have. I did not get that dialogue. I think it's just not a randomizer. It is. That's actually really sad. Into the labyrinth that hid the secret rebel base. Mm -hmm. He was surprised not to see any defenders or even any of the council toads. When he reached the council chambers, there were still no toads. Only filthy. Ah. Uh, yep. Stop him! He's gone mad! One raven shouted until he had hacked them all down. Uh huh. There was not a single toad anywhere. No doubt, they'd all been taken prisoner. So it was up to him to take revenge upon the Imperial fleet. But where had they taken the Council? It couldn't be good that the Empire had not only found the secret rebel base, but killed or captured yeah, I called him way there. before he got here. No <laughs> matter. He was on a roll. He headed full speed towards the Imperial fleet. He would be the fox who took down 100 warships. Right. <clears throat> This ending, the reason I wanted you to get this ending before we stopped, was because it has two of my favorite lines. Uh, one of them you haven't heard yet, so mm -hmm. I won't say it. The other one was right there. There were no, there were no toads, only filthy ravens. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh mm -hmm. shit! <laughs> yeah, Look at the stone. I'm busy. He told the voice. Talk later. And it will be too late. Cried the voice. Yeah. Don't be so bloody thick. Piss off. Hey. He told the voice and kept up his slaying. Oh my, Washington! <laughs> Nani? <laughs> oh, I can't even move. Is the cutscene playing in slow motion? <laughs> yep. I broke the game. <laughs> <laughs> just, just leave it. I want to see how long it goes on. <laughs> oh. Um. I don't think- I also don't think we're supposed to be seeing that cone thing from the outside. Yeah, we're not. I'm that's pretty sure that's like an effect. That's supposed to be our entire view. <laughs> There's an effect centered on Ronaldo. <laughs>
That's pretty great. You gotta put this in. You, 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 this is just oh. Great. oh my god. Can I move? <laughs> I can't. Oh my god, you broke it! You really did! I mean, you didn't. You just have to wait for the cutscene to end. Yeah. What if this was one of those cutscenes that you didn't get to walk afterwards and it went to a dialogue moment? And then the narrator is just like... No. No. Renato <laughs> saved the moment. And then, too quick, it was over. Yeet. He stood over the dead emperor. Death to tyranny! Go, Habs, go. What's that mean? Go, Habs, go! Zenobia stepped The fuck out does that mean? <laughs> you have to stop, she said. You killed everyone. Our ravens, your rebels. You murdered the whole rebel council. What? Oh, the ravens killed the council. Yeah, big idiot. They don't even know what the secret base is. Shout at Lupino, who was with her for some reason. Yeah. Look at the stone, said Zenobia. It was black as night. Blacker. But I fed it the core, said Renato. Just, just, it was glowing. Just do it. Well, who needs the core, he said, and he attacked. Zenobia conjured her best. She's a sorcerer. Hopped around like a mad. We already established that. Rabbit. I didn't know that. I thought. Oh yeah. Yep. I am unstoppable. He erated oh. at the blood-soaked walls. I alone shall be emperor. The tiny voice inside him screamed. That doesn't even sound like you, you big fanny. The stone is still in your mind. But he ignored it. Who listens to voices in their heads anyway? And Man, that's the other good line. That's who? Yeah. Sure. We got a community strike for spam because I did one stream with Restream before I knew how it worked, and I started streaming and then realized, oh shit, this starts immediately. I didn't get to change the title. And then I quit it out immediately. So we had like an eight second video where it was just my face for eight seconds and then me saying, oops, and then it ends. And we got a community guidelines strike for spam. And I was like, this isn't spam, this is a mistake. I was going to delete it anyway, but you striked me for it. And then, like, three minutes later, YouTube was like, alright, it's down. Problem solved. So. A good... A good one. Yeah, that was actually a good... Uh, that was some good dealing with YouTube, honestly. They were very quick, yeah. responsive, and very helpful. And they did exactly what I asked. Okay. I've... Poor choices have been made. <laughs> that is a summary of this game's plot. Well, first off, I gotta figure out what's up with, uh, Luna Freya. Uh, yeah, Zunaba. <laughs> Best of. Can we get a compilation of every time Justin pronounces her name wrong? <laughs> yes, please. Like, don't include this line, though. Like, you gotta have, like, her name. Followed by me just pronouncing it wrong. Zenobia. Zenaba! <laughs> Zenobia, whatever you said earlier. <laughs> Zenobone! Zenobone, that's what it was! <laughs> hey! Uh. See, I don't even remember what her name is now! <laughs> I literally can't remember because of you! Thank you. That's what I look for. Each time you fire, I'm afraid there's a 1 in 120 chance you'll destroy the universe. That's pretty good odds. That's like rolling, what, 21 dice and they all come up to six. What are the odds of that? One. No! It's more like 2.716 in a roll. Anyway, with those odds, it won't happen if I use it just once. Yeah, no, no, that's... No, no, that, that, that's not right. Each time you use it... Okay, look, just don't use it ever. All right, I guess. As he sailed away from the mountain... Yeah. Renato could see clouds darkening. Rain? No. Ships. Imperial ships. Yep. Swarming thick as bees. This was it. The big battle. The they big one. To lose this one. Uh, what if it did not go well? The big. What if he had to use the Sky River? Could he gamble the universe? Alright, let's do this last fight. On the other hand, what were the odds? In the end of it. And, and there's a. There's a whole, like, romance side plot uh, that's going on. The game break again? Fucking! 
There we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. That one can be fixed. Um, yeah, there's a whole romance side plot that's going on the whole time. Yeah. And then, um, Lapino shows up, and he's like, you should have listened to me in the first place. This didn't have to be like this. And then shoots you with a fucking crossbow in the chest. And then, and then basically Zenobia is just laying there, like, holding you as you bleed out to death. Aw, oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Cute! Yeah. It's, it's very sad as, a, as well. I actually think the other one was even more sad and even more yeah. tragic because sh you killed her. And then find out that she was telling the truth and- Holy shit, <laughs> what?! Fucking backstab. And let it warm up. He would bluff if he had to. Zenobia came out, flanked by a very daunting platoon of ravens. You won't actually use that. She said in that annoying, I know everything because I'm a cat, and you know nothing because you're just a fox voice she had. Or I know the odds. Good. Because there's a real chance you could destroy the universe. No, not the first time they use it. The odds are too low. <laughs> no? Yeah, sure. The first time, the odds are practically nothing. They only go up if I use it a bunch more times. No, but... That's not how odds work. <laughs> Can you pay attention in class? <laughs> this is why he's that very bright. Or I'll use it. Just once, he said. Don't. He felt sure the odds were with him. You have to go with his gut. That's yeah. what heroes do. So the odds were 1 in 28 that he blows up the world universe, right? Please? Yeah. Basically Sky creates a black hole. Yeah. With a tremendous whoosh, the Emperor's flagship went up in flames. It was so, like... Those are odds I still wouldn't take myself personally, because destroy the universe, you know. Yeah. But like, he is right. I mean, maybe. Yeah. Because like, if the option is you're guaranteed to die, or there's a chance you'll destroy the universe. Yeah. Like, fuck him. If I'm gonna die either way, fuck you guys. <laughs> I'll take the chance. Wouldn't this black hole technically destroy magic and then fuck you up eternally? One in a hundred. That's what I. That's what I thought. But it's a game. <laughs> <laughs> 1 in 20, 128. What are the odds? No, Zenobia. Oh, there's more. <laughs> no, Zick. <laughs> you piece of shit. That one was intentional, don't count it. No, Zubone. <laughs> Zambonia. <laughs> After going back to the rebel base, which is a thing, by the way. Um, Which is a thing, by the way, is a summary of this whole story. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there was this gem we could find. Iblis Stone! The Iblis Stone, yes. And then we find it, and it's like, if you kill Zetterburn, then, uh, we will give you infinite power, and you get the choice to say, alright, or fuck you. Uh, I found part of the god weapon, and then I found the rest, and then I found the holy d20. Um, the holy d20? Then I went to the scientists again. We rolled a crit- spoiler alert, we rolled a nat one. Mm-hmm. Walked up to the enemy ship and was like, I am going to fire this gun. And they're like, no, no, you're not. You're bluffing. So he promptly said, come on, guys. It's like a 128 chance. What are the odds? Like, <laughs> fires the weapon. And then Zanzibar was like, that's not how odds work. <laughs> we talked to um, uh, Sing Sing over here. Uh, that was a bad one. <laughs> Zing Sing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said Sing Sing. <laughs> That's okay, I was gonna call her Zuber. <laughs> this game's approach to plot. Hey look, he's a pirate. No he's not. Hey look, he's dating a librarian. No he's not. <laughs> hey look, he's protecting a kid. No he's not. speed! You can't convince me. Yes I can. <laughs> dear, dear, uh, dear Zanzibar. Damn it, I was gonna make a better one, but fuck you. Dear, <laughs> dear Obi-Wan Zenobi. <laughs> if you think Justin is the master of breaking games, like this video. <laughs> if you think he really needs to fucking stop. Subscribe to our channel. Why? Yeah, I guess you managed. They Save her somehow. With me. I lost my temper it doesn't matter if they're all dead. No. Go on, on. Damn this up. The stone did. Oh. Why did you take it from the Pino? I had a plan. Okay, no, you had a, a stupid plan. My bottle of root beer. If Jacob I'm shows up, kill my father he's now. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, no. he loves her too, so Charlie. that would work as well. You could just take his place. You'll become worse than him. I'm leaving. Get out of my way. Right here. And I'll kill you too. Uh. <laughs> oh! Double boss fight. Get out of her way. Stop her and the Iblis Stone. You won't kill me. You chose that very quick. Yeah. And I won't let you kill the Emperor. Enraged, she raised the sword. You hate him too? 
He could sense the inner stone, yearning for his death. Yeah. No, no. Didn't Jake, it's not allowed to have this. You kill him. Okay. He'll destroy you. I'll be back. I know you. Shut up. She shouts yeah. with her sword trembling. I won't lose you again. And I guess not for I'll... anything. Get away from me. He said, and he was very close. Yeah. I can't lose you again. With, like, yeah. Staff. He was in reach of her sword now. I hate okay. you. I hate you too. I love you. Yeah. Said for the very first time. And then she was weeping. He was holding her. The sword had dropped from her hand. Okay. He glanced at the Ibla stone. It was no longer the black of the void. It looked like coal. No. Huh. It glowed like a cinder. It was crackling, burning, crumbling into ashes. Nice. You've always loved me, haven't you? She said. She was weak. The stone had taken so much from her. Always, he said. She staggered as he helped her up. Let me take you away. Where? The island of Avalon. Sorry, what now? Will hear you. He will follow us. Sorry, what? And we need the Farfarer, the fastest ship in the Empire. Oh! oh. Excellent! Yes! Oh, it's pretty great. I love it. <laughs> it just feels so good! Renato turned downwind to gain speed. The Raven ships could pursue. They couldn't close. Okay. The fire speaker croaked. You will return her and live. Go sacrifice yourself. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Then you won't have her either. On the flagship, the Emperor yep. was readying some arcane weapon. It couldn't be. It was Yay. the core. A devastating beam lanced out of the flagship. Renato zigzagged wildly to keep the firefare out of it. Yeah. Now the Raven scout ships were close in the distance, and the beam was getting closer too. Then came a blinding flash, huh. and the air was seemingly hot all around him. There was a thunderous, deafening roar. He could smell burnt oak and burnt feathers and burnt flesh. But when he could hear yeah. and see again, they were alive and unhurt. Yay! And they were alone in the sky. Zenobia embraced him. They had done it. Through luck, through love, they had won the war. So, I, I don't recall much love, but okay, aside from them two? I mean, there was the whole thing of Join me, don't fucking kill your fathers. Whenever we're together, she said. And so, we have no food. <laughs> Renato and Zenobia went to one of the two Avalones. One the of one the two? Shrouded in mists. Or the one in their hearts. I guess we know which one we went which to. Which one they went to? I'll never tell. He'd done it. Yeah. He'd forged his own destiny. Well, he hadn't actually done done it, but he knew. Oh goddamn it! Renato smiled at the book. He practically wanted to kiss it. The kid's sacrifice hadn't been in vain. He'd saved the book and saved the world. Renato owed him and his mother so much. Renato lowered the mainsail and let the farfarer shoot forward in the breeze. Second star to the right and straight on till morning. This time, he would win. Hmm. Huh. Cool. Yeah. Nikola Tesla. Alan West. <laughs> Special thanks to Nikola Tesla. Where is he? <laughs> right there.